Aircraft carriers, these colossal floating powerhouses, demand anchors and chains of unparalleled strength due to their massive size and weight. Picture this. Each aircraft carrier anchor weighs an astounding 30,000 pounds, and it comes with a chain that stretches a mind-blowing 1440 feet. Wrangling these maritime monsters involves a sophisticated dance of systems, where a key player is the windlass, a massive winch responsible for smoothly dropping and hoisting these gigantic anchors. In the intricate web of an aircraft carrier's design, the anchor takes center stage. Although anchors come in various shapes, they typically share a common structure with two or more hooks designed to firmly grip the seabed. This design ensures unwavering stability, keeping the carrier securely anchored even in the face of challenging sea conditions. The relationship between a ship's size and the scale of its anchor is a core principle in maritime operations. Larger vessels like aircraft carriers need anchors of massive proportions to keep them effectively moored. Forget the idea of casually tossing anchors overboard. Aircraft carriers are equipped with intricate mechanical systems spread across multiple rooms. At the lowest point of the ship lies the chain locker, a massive space that stores hundreds of feet of chain during transit. Connected to this chain locker is the windlass room, the nerve center where the meticulous operations of anchor drop and retrieval are coordinated with precision. For carriers sporting two anchors, this mechanical ballet is duplicated with windless rooms strategically placed at both the front and back of the ship. Each room functions as a hub where cutting-edge technology and skilled personnel work seamlessly together to ensure the smooth handling of these massive anchors. In essence, anchoring an aircraft carrier goes beyond the simple act of dropping weights into the ocean. It embodies a fusion of advanced engineering and strategic planning. Every component, from the colossal anchors to the intricate windlass systems, plays a crucial role in guaranteeing the stability and security of these naval giants as they navigate the vast and unpredictable expanses of the open sea. The Crucial Role of the Windlass and Wildcats The windlass, a powerful winch, plays a pivotal role in controlling the anchor's movement. Equipped with special drums known as wildcats, it grips the anchor and acts as a braking system during deployment. The importance of these components is evident in practices like the anchor drop test, where the entire system is rigorously evaluated to ensure its reliability in various depths. During the anchor drop test, the wildcats are engaged as the anchor is lowered into the water. The process involves dropping the anchor to different depths, engaging and disengaging the brake, and ensuring the system operates flawlessly. This Medikulaus testing is crucial to identifying any deficiencies in the anchor, ensuring the safety and reliability of the entire anchoring system. Challenges in Anchor Chain Maintenance Despite their robust construction from high-strength steel, anchor chains are subject to significant stress during operations. The combination of friction during dropping and hoisting, coupled with exposure to corrosive saltwater, can weaken the chain links and potentially lead to breakage. Regular evaluations and maintenance, including manual checks, are imperative to ensure the integrity of the anchor chain. While the ship is underway, manual checks are performed in the windlass room or the chain locker. This involves carefully inspecting each link of the chain individually, looking for weak points, cracks, or any signs of wear. The goal is to identify and address potential issues before they compromise the anchor's effectiveness. The meticulous attention to detail during these checks is paramount, as any oversight could have severe consequences for the vessel's safety. The complexity of aircraft carrier systems. Aircraft carriers as floating cities of military might are comprised of millions of moving parts. Each component plays a vital role in the carrier's ability to fulfill its mission. From elevators transporting planes from the hangar to the deck to catapults and retractable blast shields, every inch of these colossal ships requires meticulous inspection and maintenance. One of the critical systems on the flight deck is the arresting gear, a specialized system designed to decelerate aircraft during rapid landings. This system, in use for decades, 
consists of a tail hook attached to the aircraft and a hydraulic heli powered line stretch it horizontally over the deck. As the aircraft touches down, the tail hook engages the line, transferring kinetic energy to hydraulics below the deck, bringing the plane to a rapid stop in just a few hundred feet. Arresting gear, extending beyond aircraft carriers. While arresting gear systems are synonymous with aircraft carriers, their applications extend beyond naval operations. The United States Air Force, for instance, has been developing land-based arresting gear systems for decades. These systems serve a different purpose, aiding aircraft during emergency landings where a traditional runway might not be available. One notable system used by the Air Force is the BAC-12, which stands for Barrier Arresting Kit. This system, similar to those on aircraft carriers, consists of a steel line stretched over the runway, elevated by small wheels. Aircraft equipped with deployable tow hooks engage this line during landing. The line is connected to a multi-disc rotary energy absorber, ensuring a rapid yet safe stop for the aircraft. The critical importance of BAC-12 systems. Certification and maintenance of BAC-12 systems are paramount for the Air Force. These systems serve as a crucial safety net during emergency landings, preventing catastrophic outcomes. The certification process involves rigorous training for pilots to ensure they can adeptly utilize the system in case of an emergency. The Bach 12 system operates by deploying a tail hook from the aircraft during an emergency landing. This hook catches the pendant, initiating a braking process that slows down and eventually stops the aircraft. The significance of this system cannot be overstated as it acts as a last line of defense, potentially saving the lives of pilots and preserving valuable aircraft. Challenges in BAC-12 Maintenance Maintaining the BAC-12 system is essential to its effectiveness in emergency situations. The kinetic braking system on the BAC-12 undergoes regular testing and inspections to ensure its reliability. Heavy-duty vehicles such as tractors are employed to repeatedly test the strength and durability of the cable. Technicians closely monitor the performance of the energy absorber, making necessary repairs to prevent any potential failures. The significance of maintaining these arresting gear systems cannot be overstated, considering the immense forces involved in bringing a heavy aircraft to a rapid stop. The lives of pilots, the safety of the aircraft, and the well-being of ground crews all depend on the meticulous upkeep of these critical components. Conclusion Safeguarding Maritime Operations Through Rigorous Maintenance In conclusion, the world of maritime operations is intricately tied to the reliability and effectiveness of anchoring and arresting gear systems. Anchors, with their ancient roots in seafaring, continue to be a linchpin in ensuring vessels remain securely moored. The arresting gear, a more modern invention, serves a crucial role in aviation safety, both at sea and on land. The maintenance and inspection of these systems are not mere routine tasks. They are imperative for the safety of personnel, the preservation of valuable assets, and the successful execution of military missions. Whether it's the anchor chains of an aircraft carrier or the BAC-12 system on a land-based airfield, the commitment to regular evaluations and meticulous upkeep is the cornerstone of maritime and aviation safety. In the grand tapestry of maritime history, the evolution of anchors and arresting gear systems stands as a testament to humanity's unyielding quest for safer and more efficient ways to navigate the vast expanses of the sea and sky. As technology continues to advance, these crucial components will undoubtedly undergo further refinements, ensuring the continued safety and success of maritime and aviation endeavors around the globe. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay up to date.